This video is about the transpose of a matrix. The transpose of a matrix A, denoted by A with a little T superscript, is a matrix you get by switching the rows and the columns of A. In other words, the first row of A becomes the first column of A transpose. And the second row of A becomes the second column of A transpose. In this example, notice that we started with a 2 by 3 matrix, but when we took the transpose, we got a 3 by 2 matrix. And in general, if A has size m by n, then A transpose has size n by m. Let's work out some properties of matrix transpose. Let's let A and B be two matrices for which the following operations are defined. So for property one, we need addition to be defined, so we're going to need A and B to be the same size. And for property B, we need A times B to be defined, so we need the number of columns of A to be the same as the number of rows of B. For property Four, we need A to be a square matrix so that we can take its inverse. Please pause the video and try your hand at figuring out which of these five properties holds. You might want to write down some example matrices for A and B and test the property out. I hope you found that the first property is true. If we take two matrices and add them up and then take the transpose, for example, these two matrices, we can think of that as adding them together row by row and then switching the rows to columns. But we'll get the same thing if we first switch the rows to columns and then add them up column by column. What about the next property? Is AB quantity transpose the same as A transpose times B transpose? Well, thinking about dimension, just because A times B makes sense dimension-wise doesn't guarantee that A transpose times B transpose will even make sense. Here it doesn't because we can't multiply a 2 by 3 matrix times a 4 by 2 matrix. And even if we stick with square matrices, so dimension's not a problem, it's still easy to come up with examples where A, B, transpose is not the same thing as A transpose times B transpose. For example, we can take A to be the matrix 2, 3, 1, 7, and B to be the matrix 2, 3, 4, negative 1. Then AB works out to be the matrix 16, 3, 30, negative 4. And when we transpose that, we get 16, 30, 3, negative 4. But if, on the other hand, we transpose A first and also transpose B and then multiply those transposes together, you can check that we get the matrix 7, 7, 27, 5, which has nothing in common with AB quantity transpose. So this statement, as written, is definitely false. But there actually is a relationship between transpose and multiplication. Like with inverses, if we take the product backwards, so here we do A, B, transpose, but on the other side we do B, transpose first, and then A, transpose, this does turn out to be true. First of all, we can check that the dimensions will work out. If A is, for example, an M by K matrix, and B is a K by N matrix, so that A times B makes sense, then B transpose will be an N by K matrix, and A transpose will be a K by M matrix. So that multiplication will also make sense, and the resulting matrices on either side will be N by M matrices. On this side we get N by M because when we do the multiplication we get M by N, but then when we take the transpose, that switches that to N by M. But it's not just that the dimensions work out, these two matrices are actually equal for any matrices A and B. Let's see how this works in an example. 
let's say that A is this 3 by 2 matrix and B is this 2 by 4 matrix, then if we want to multiply B transpose times A transpose, the entries of the resulting product matrix will come with from rows of B transpose multiplied by columns of A transpose. For example, the entry in the 2, 3 position of the product, that is the second row, third column of the product, will come from multiplying the second row of B transpose with the third column of A transpose. But that's the exact same thing as multiplying the second column of B by the third row of A. So that'll be the 3, 2 entry of the product A times B. And in general, the I, J entry of A times B is equal to the J, I entry of B transpose A transpose. But that means that the roles of rows and columns is exactly switched between these two matrices, and therefore B transpose A transpose it's going to be the transpose of AB. So this statement here is a true statement for all matrices AB for which it makes sense. What about this next statement? The transpose of a scalar K times A is the same thing as a scalar K times A transpose. It's not too hard to convince yourself that this is true with an example. If we multiply 5 by the entries of a matrix and then switch the roles of the rows and columns, that's going to be the same thing as switching the roles of the rows and the columns and then multiplying that by 5. What about this next property? Is it true that A inverse transpose is the same thing as A transpose inverse? It may surprise you that this is true, at least for our square matrices, so that taking the inverse makes sense. One way to show that this is always true is to look at the product A inverse transpose by A transpose. If we can show that this product is the identity, then we'll know that A inverse transpose is the inverse of A transpose, which is what we're trying to show. But when we take a product of two transposes, we saw from this true property, the product of two transposes is just the transpose of the product in the other direction. So this is the transpose of the product in the other direction. Hey, A times A inverse is just the identity matrix. And when we take the identity matrix as transpose and switch the rows and columns, we just get the same thing as the identity matrix. And therefore, A inverse transpose is indeed the inverse of A transpose, like we wanted. Finally, is this last property true or false? Is A transpose transpose the same thing as A? I hope you're thinking that it's true. It's true because if we switch the rows and the columns and then switch the rows and the columns again, we get back to the same thing. In this video, we defined the transpose of a matrix and looked at how transpose interacts with other matrix operations, like multiplication, addition, and inverses.